my gosh, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello. Click the subscribe button. My name is Mackenzie, and I'd love for you to stick around. Today, I am back with another try on haul. Shocker. Today's is in partnership with Fashion Nova, so thank you, Fashion Nova, for sending over these pieces. We have got some amazing items today. Don't get me wrong. I like fall and winter clothes, but nothing makes me feel more myself, more powerful, confident, excited than like summer fashion. Frilly tops, flirty little dresses, cute flare jeans. I've got it all today. I'll leave everything linked down below as well as my sizing info, shipping, all that kind of stuff. Hope you enjoy, hope you're excited. Without further ado, let's hop right on it. All right, starting off with the cute little top I have on right now. This is one of those like bandana style tops, but this one's actually like a silky satiny material and it's all one solid color. I love navy, I think it's incredibly flattering on my skin tone and it makes my eyes pop big time. I love, love, love this one because it comes with a matching mask. I mean, oh my gosh, does it get any better than that? I think that this is the cutest little duo. If this comes in more colors, I will without a doubt be picking it up in more. I'm wearing the small size available in everything you see me wearing today, so an extra small. Typically, I'll leave my measurements linked down below. This one is just like a tie along the neckline, so a lot of halters throughout this haul just because because that's really big this season and then it ties along the back as you can tell very cute flirty fun but not super scandalous at the same time either all right I have plenty of more tops but I want to hop into the denim first because I picked up a ton of it I don't know what got into me but I needed a couple pairs of shorts I really struggle in the shorts department um, so I find myself wearing dresses and rompers pretty much all summer long and it's because I can never find a pair of shorts that fit me right but I have such good luck with Fashion Nova jeans that I was like I should try out their shorts and what do you know? They fit me perfect. I'm wearing a size 24 or 25 depending on what the smallest size is. And this is the first pair I grabbed. These kind of have like a mom jean fit to them. They're super relaxed. They're not super fitted and they are just the right amount of high rise. They're not super, super high where they come up past your belly button. They kind of sit just below it. And these ones have a button fly, as you can tell. Just a few rips. I don't love a ton of rips because, I don't know, I feel like they get kind of trashy sometimes on shorts with your butt cheeks hanging out. So I I try to avoid too many rips. These ones were perfect. They cuff along the back a little bit. I will say these are just the right length, like any shorter. And I think they'd be like, you know, a little much, but very cute. And then I also picked up this pair of black shorts and I really like these. They've got a really classic fit. Like I said, these ones are a 24 and they're not as high-waisted. They do have a button fly, which I actually learned in fashion apparel analysis last week, um, is a sign of higher quality. So that means usually that it will last a little bit longer. Um, and then this is what the back looks like. They are a pretty true fit. As you can tell, they cover the tush and they've got a little bit longer of an inseam. Okay, and then I actually have like a gazillion pairs of flare jeans. I don't know what got into me, but when I was placing this order, I was just drawn to so many fun pairs of pants and the 70s are super popular this season. They are coming back, like elements from that decade are coming back in so many different regards this season. So, you'll be seeing a lot of bell bottoms. I actually, like I knew I was planning on picking up a pair of white flares because I grew out of my other pair. They were kind of gross anyways so I grabbed these these were definitely my favorite of all of the pairs of flares these ones fit me the best they are a mix of lyocell cotton viscose and lycra and they are incredibly stretchy so they hug your waist beautifully they're very high-waisted they make your tush look really good and they are super skinny and then they flare out really really wide this is my favorite kind of width like just enough make your legs look super long very slimming I just incredibly flattering on anyone and I feel like every girl needs a pair of white jeans for the spring Okay, then I picked up these pink and white tie-dye ones because this looks like something that the real Slim Shady on TikTok would wear and I don't know, she inspires me, she influences me to buy stuff all the time. So I grabbed these and they are a little bit of a cheaper denim just because they are printed and dyed as you can tell. But they've got really wide flares just like the white ones that I think are so fun. I mean 70s were really big in tie-dye and flares so mixing them together I think is really fun. The only complaint I have about these is they're a little bunchy in the crotch if my butt was a little bit bigger I feel like I would fill these out perfectly but still very stinking cute I think with just a plain white t-shirt and a pair of white shoes you are good to go definitely a bold piece not for everyone but oh my gosh you make such a statement okay then I picked up these patchwork jeans and honestly I already have a pair of patchwork jeans from Fashion Nova I absolutely love them but I was like do I really need a second pair like that's not really the kind of jean you wear every single day so I was like do I need another pair 
pair of these. Well, I posted a photo right here on Instagram in the other pair of patchwork pants and you guys freaked out. Like so many people DM'd me, swiped up, asked for the links. Like you guys fell in love with them. So I was like, all right, I can justify a second pair. So these ones are so cool because there's parts of other jeans making this up. So there are tons of different parts and pieces mixed. So lots of different denim washes. And as you can tell, there's like a pocket along the front. They flare out to the bottom. And then as you can tell, there's a pocket along the bottom. This is like a waistband making up the bottom of the pants. They're just so stinking cool. Very unique. I have nothing like this. And honestly, few people, like you, there's no chance anyone would be matching you if you wore this somewhere. I think they're really, really cool. These ones are definitely a little bit smaller in the waist. They still fit me really well. But if you are in between sizes, definitely recommend going up. Colored denim is like really, really popular again this season. And it really takes me back to my sixth and seventh grade days of wearing Abercrombie Kids jeans. And I told myself I would never go back to colored denim, but it's everywhere. And I'm making an exception for yellow because yellow is my favorite color. So I picked these up. Again, they are a little bit thinner and I find that that's how all colored denim is. Just like I said, those pink and white tie-dye ones feel a little different too. These ones have a really high-waisted band and they have fake pockets along the front, but they are real along the back. These are a size 0, 24, which is what most of their jeans start at. And these ones are kind of more of a boot cut fit than a flare. I think I would like them better if they flared out a little bit more. The one complaint I have about these is they do absolutely nothing for my butt. I have a very flat tush as it is, I feel like, but um, I don't know, not the most confident in these ones, but I think I'll find a way to style these with a white tee. Um, I think that these could be really cute for a baseball game just because my school's colors are navy and yellow, so we'll find a, we'll find a way, don't worry. Okay, and then I also picked up these, and these are absolutely insane. Okay, these are not really a denim, they are just like more of like a cargo pant material, and they are a khaki, like light tan, as you can tell. And holy cow, do these babies get like really, really wide. They're not flares necessarily, they're wide leg pants, as you can tell, but they are huge. Surprisingly, the waistband fits me beautifully, like they're not super big up top, but they get really, really wide. They are are definitely very long. I 100% need a pair of heels or booties, something to give me a little bit of lift to get some of these off the ground. I might end up cutting off like an inch just to give them a raw hem to shorten them up a bit, but these are so unique. They totally scream like Woodstock era, and I think that this will be so fun to style. I know it's not for everyone, but oh, I just love weird clothes. Okay, last up for denim, I grabbed this jumpsuit, and holy cow, Fashion Nova jumpsuits fit me like a glove. It is so rare that I don't like like a jumpsuit from them and this one blew me away. This is the softest denim I've ever felt in my whole life and it's so incredibly stretchy. It like molds to your body. I cannot wait to wear this line dancing at the Dusty Armadillo with a cowboy hat and a pair of cowgirl boots. I think that this is going to be so stinking cute. As you can tell there is a zipper all the way down which is how you get this on and off. So you can honestly make this a little more plunging if that's something that you're going for and it's got a little belt so that you can tie along the waist. Um, I will say the length wasn't my favorite on this, so I did go ahead and cuff them. I find that I like pretty much everything to be cuffed. That's just personal preference, but they are more of a straight leg jean along the bottom. Speaking of jumpsuits, I also picked up this beauty, and oh my gosh, I literally love this. If you are looking for a timeless piece that you can wear over and over for many different occasions, this is the jumpsuit for you. I grabbed this in a size extra small, and it definitely runs a little big if you're in between sizes I would say go down just because it's a very stretchy material and it's a little bit heavier it's cotton and spandex so there's a lot of like bounce to it as you can tell it's very very stretchy feels like sweatpants and it's got these little tie straps along the top as you can tell it's more of that cowl neckline that although it's trendy right now as you can tell um, it doesn't go out of style necessarily like there are gonna be times where more retailers push it out, but you're never going to look back at this and be like, what was I wearing? You know, this is a trend that will be around forever. And oh my gosh, the bottoms just flare out a little bit. It's just incredibly flattering, sexy, soft. You could wear this as loungewear in the car, like going somewhere for vacation. You could wear this dressed up with a pair of heels for a function, a date night. 
literally like I cannot think of one occasion you couldn't wear this to it is Incredible. I hope they come out with this in more colors I grabbed this romper and I think it is so cute. You do not put your head through this I spent like 10 minutes trying to figure out how to get my head through this because as you can tell it's very very small You don't put your head through it These go around your neck to hold it together like for some reason I thought my head was supposed to fit through there No, that's like a little peekaboo. Um, so you know don't make that mistake like I did and this is what the rest of it looks like We've got a little green tie-dye going on it. This one has really deep pockets, which I love and then the back just zips up You've got a cute little tie along the front. I just love anything halter. I think it's really effortless really sexy Perfect for that post beach day vibe So I'm personally not 100% sure what I'm doing for spring break yet by the time this video is up I'm sure I will have a plan set in stone, but as I'm filming this I don't know where I'm going But wherever I am I am bringing this dress because oh my gosh, this is the most flattering dress on the planet it has got just like a classic v-neck but something about this is like just the right like distance so your boobs look amazing they're adjustable straps and it's very thin but like not in a bad way if that makes sense this is like a really breathable airy dress perfect for again post beach day headed to dinner and it's just this Oh, green tied eye again. I don't know clearly that was a kick, but it is a maxi dress But it's got a very high slit that comes up where a normal dress would end So you do have a lot of leg on display hugs your curves in all the right places and I don't know I just thought this was so fun. I cannot wait to take photos in this Okay, and then I also grabbed this jumpsuit and I wanted to love this But I just don't but for one very specific reason Okay, this is one of those jumpsuits that like you put around the neck like this which I love with a low bun your hair slicked back some gold hoops like it looks so sexy but this is like one of those drop crotch jumpsuits which i knew but the crotch is so so low on this because i am so short i'm only 5'2 that this just doesn't really work on me what i'm going to do is take a belt and belt the waistband and then it will be perfect then it's not going to drag too much on the ground it won't look like it's like literally without it it looks like it's swallowing me whole but i have a lot of hope for this I'm not worried about it. I have a plan. This is going to be executed perfectly I'm sure it'll be on my Instagram. So make sure you're following me at style by McKenz It's got a very low back because again, we've got that halter style going on But I thought that this was so fun But just definitely runs very large and perfect if you are taller Okay, then I got some super cutesy tops So we're gonna just go through those real quick to end off the haul I grabbed this yellow bodysuit and oh my gosh, you need this. I love yellow It's my favorite color like I said and I wear it all the time time in the summer. This one's like one of those bustier style bodysuits, but this one actually has cups that are wide enough. Thank you. Finally something that my nipple isn't going to fall out of. And this one has wiring along the bottom of the cups, so it really does give you some support, keeps your boobs in place, and then the back of it actually laces up a bunch, which I really, really love. I think that's the cutest detail. And it's a thong style bodysuit that snaps. Fashion Nova, 3,000 thumbs up all the way around on this guy. Please make this in more colors. Please make more bodysuits this style because this is the best. Cute with jeans, cute with shorts, cute with the skirt. I also grabbed this little top that just reminds me of like prancing around in tall grass at home. Like a cute little like... I don't know, you know, cute moment like this as the sun goes down. I will definitely be bringing this home so that my friend Garrett can take some photos of me in it because it's just so effortless. Very girl next door vibes and it's incredibly soft. It's a pale yellow. It's got elastic along the arms and it's got like a cute little peplum that ties along the center. I just love this style. It's going to be very popular this season as well. I've been seeing a lot of stores roll out tops this style and I'm so excited. Bandana style tops. I love them. You love them. I mean, who doesn't? This one is just a strapless version and I grabbed this in an extra small. This is one top I actually think I could have gone up a size in just to give it a little more material. Very silky cute and then the back just ties again like that. I've also seen a lot of people start wearing these as like little bandanas like on their actual head they like tie it and look super cute i don't know if i could necessarily pull that off but i want to give it a try you guys love the little tie front cardigans i've been loving them all spring long and on the days where it's a little chillier out still this would be the perfect piece to wear um sage green again another color that's very big right now and i love it i think it's so adorable this one actually has two ties along the front which i really like because that way 
your like whole boobs aren't falling out you know like if the wind does blow up it's like less scary not as big of a chance of a nip slip the arms are the perfect length on this for me and I think with a pair of white jeans like those white flares with this and a cute little mule a little wide brim hat that would be adorable for the spring Okay, and then of course I picked up a open back little long sleeve top. These are so fun. They feel a little weird when you first put them on because it takes some getting used to like only having your arms in the shirt, but they are so cute. And it, I think open back details are going to be even bigger this season. Love this one. It's got like kind of boosty. They're not bustier style cups, but as you can tell, there is a little bit of stitching along there. They are unlined. And then this one has like a little tie along the back. Very very, very cute and I just feel like this is a great basic would work really well with any of those pairs of flares and then I also grabbed this bodysuit this is super cute very basic but honestly not the best quality it's a little bit thinner than your average shirt and as you can tell these straps are super super thin like look at that I don't know I'm nervous that it's gonna snap but at the same time I think that the color is adorable I've been reaching for this lilac a lot lately and you guys have been giving me a lot of love I'm not usually a purple girl but you're boosting my confidence so I'm giving it a couple of goes this is a very full coverage bottom as you can tell and it does have those snaps so a little more prone to panty lines I tend to wear this kind of bodysuit with a skirt rather than like jeans just to kind of avoid that. and then last but certainly not least I got a cute little tank top and cardigan duo so this is what the tank looks like. It is super, super fuzzy, and it kind of looks like a dog. <laughs> kind of looks like something my dog would wear when I hold it up like that, but it is adorable. It's got these little straps. As you can tell, you could wear this on its own or with the cardigan to match. I think this is perfect for those spring transition weeks when it's still a little chilly in the morning. This is what the cardigan looks like. No buttons. Very cute. You can kind of leave this off the shoulder, or you can wear it all together. Um, I don't know. I just love this. I love a little eyelash moment. I will say, these do not launder well at all so definitely avoid putting a sweater this material into the dryer leave it to hang dry you know put it on cold to wash and then just leave it hanging um, just because it will help you know make it last a little bit longer but very very cute alrighty guys that is going to be all for today's little fashion nova try on haul I am so pleased with the pieces that I grabbed and I have a feeling I'll be bringing a few of them with me on my spring break travels I hope you guys enjoyed I know I had a lot of fun making this and I will leave links to everything down below like I said make sure you're following me on Instagram at style by McKen so you can see how I'm wearing some of these pieces and I will talk to you in my next video peace out girl scouts